Good morning, good morning. Actually, it's right at noon, I think. I'm going to go eat my lunch here in a minute. My wife might be trying to get a hold of me. I don't know if she does or not that much time, but today she's doing a little something different in a meeting. we got to cut these two things off of here. I'm going to incorporate those back into the gate, though. And i got to get these two. I might try to unscrew these with the impact and a wrench. We'll have that pipe there it might be incorporated too and let's see but uh got one over there that's the one i was working on i, I welded the uh, see that thing there on top that angle iron my two by four is going to go across the top of that one my first one i may have to do the same thing with this one i'm gonna have to go see i think they're the same height i mean this one I may have to put the same thing on this one here. And then uh, the bottom two will be screwed into the square tubing. Yeah. But yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. Now I think I'm going to use these wheels on this barbecue grill I picked up on the side of the road. I'm going to use these wheels for my gate wheels. I may have to put a bigger arbor in the middle a piece of pipe. I'll just have to cut these maybe and then put a bigger piece of pipe in there and re-weld it. But I could probably do that pretty easy. If it's a man I see some axle grease in there and yeah. Once in a while I may have to go out there and uh, pull them off with some grease on it if they start squeaking and put it back on. They probably won't have to do but once or twice a year. Or I may just squeak them. I may try to do it with these axles. What the hell? Look at all that smoke. <laughs> Alright. It's kind of cold out here today. It's only about 25, 30 degrees. But I think we're going to try to hang these two uh, gates a little bit. Put some hinges in those posts. So, yeah. Right now I'm going to go eat my lunch. This video sucks. I know that. but <laughs> I guess uh, I'm going to get at, I could get down on my knees and beg for subscribers. Because my channel is growing so slow. But anyway, that's alright. Whatever. I'll be seeing you after lunch. We'll buy a hanging couple of gates. batteries
do a half inch. Oh yeah, it's gonna be way too little. I gotta go get a bigger drill bit. I need to grab my half inch bit. I'll be right back. My batteries are all dead on my stupid electric drill. So, I'll try this brace. I doubt if I can get it done, no. Right back, gotta go to the hammer. Am I recording? Okay, here we go. Now I'm recording. I don't know if I was recording before or not. I went to uh, get me a hammer to get the so I could start that in. That hen I'm eating some peanuts by the way, you hear some noise in the background. I'm getting ready to hang my gates. Bought these uh, hinges that you gotta kind of pre-drill a hole, and then you gotta then you screw them in. But I didn't read on there. Maybe I need to read it. But I think I've, I drilled a half-inch hole, and it's a five-eighths screw, so the thread. So it's getting pretty tough to get it in there. Pretty good. But uh, yeah. I thought I'd do a talk over a little bit on some of this video. This there's a gate I made. I welded most of this gate together. I'd say about half of it. It's an old farm gate I got out of my dad's. Had trees and stuff growing up between the wire and had to cut it out of the fence row. <clears throat> I'm trying to drink my, take me a drink out of my coffee cup, but it was empty. <laughs> but anyway yeah my gate in the next clip I think I tell you that I went, I'm not too happy about the way my gates are turning out but, but after I got them up there and I got to looking at them a little longer then I yeah they're not going to be too bad they'll be alright but anyway uh Hanging them gates is kind of a pretty good task by yourself. They're 10 foot long. And maybe tomorrow, it's only like uh, 30 degrees out right now where I'm out there working. I think it was around 30 degrees. It started getting pretty cold. But it wasn't that bad really because the sun was shining. But... I know one thing about this that shade you see on the ground there is uh, on the north side of the fence and that was all the way out where that shade is it snowed the other day and that's the last part that melted it takes forever for that frost Ugh, what the hell my phone it takes forever for uh, frost and that's the last place in the to warm up you know on the north side of that fence but I'll tell you one thing about that fence when I put the pickets together they were uh, I smashed them up against each other as high as I can get them and but uh, that they're so wet and now they're drying out and I think I've some of the places are near quarter inches of a gap between my pickets 
it's kind of taking me off. But I think in my last video, you seen I hung that black net tarp behind it, and that's going to make a big difference. I'll probably put a little bit of tarp where I don't want people to be able to see through very good. It's mainly for the see it uh, out of sight out of mind you know <laughs> that's the way I look oh here I'm running a uh, a brazen bit that's the old timers uh, drill I'm having to use that because my uh, I think I tried using my electric drills but my batteries are all dead on them and I said hell with it I can't stand electric drills so I just went and got that brace with a bit in it. But later on, I do have trouble getting it to go through because I, I don't know, I ran into a hard spot in one of these posts. It was a hard spot or the, the grain on the, the lumber was going in a funny direction or something, but yeah. So uh, I don't know how I've done a talk over for a long time. I don't know how this is going to work because I'm coming up on a on a break to the next uh, to the next cut in my movie that I'm making. So I'm just going to try to keep it going, and we'll see how it works. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I may need to stop it and then uh, put them together. I think I'll stop it and I'll put this cut into that one, and then we'll do the next one. That's probably what I'll do because otherwise I might get it all jacked up. So right there I'm showing you my got a three quarter inch wrench on there. But I'm going to have to get off here and uh, get with you on the next one. <clears throat> all right. Let's see what we're doing here. Oh, I've got the three quarter inch wrench over the end of that uh, hinge. I'm screwing in. It's a hinge pin. I guess you call the other side the hinge. I don't know what you call it, slot or something. Back in the old days, that would be a male end of a hinge, but nowadays it could be a trans hinge. So I'm not sure what it is. We'll let the hinge decide. <laughs> but I'm getting my the ground did thaw out just a little bit where I was walking on it right there because it was starting to get a little muddy and I got my knees a little muddy on the ground and kind of ticked me off. But like that right there, I'm getting my knee a little bit dirty. But that thing was getting really tough to screw in. Later on my other post, you'll see me grab a big pipe wrench, which we called a monkey wrench. But when I was little on the way, back when I was younger, they called it a monkey wrench. Now that, I don't know, it could be some kind of bad thing to say nowadays. I'm not sure. See the gaps in that wood? I wish I could show you the gaps. You can see it. They dried that way. They were butted up against each other before. But I'm kind of glad it is that way now because, uh, now the uh, the wind comes through there a little easier. They say it takes a lot of the stress off from the wind. I don't know how much that's true that is, but this is little gaps. But I guess it could be true. There, I got my gate swinging. That gate right there, kind of. I think I messed up just a little bit on. It. I wish it was up just about another half inch or so on the end, but. I'll make it work. I'm going to make a steel wheel where that block is underneath it. I'm going to have a 10-inch uh, steel wheel that I'm going to make for each gate on the end out there. Make it. It's going to be underneath the gate, but it's going to be back just a little ways. That's my neighbor kid. He's not real. He's an, I think he's a, a upperclassman in high school. So He's like a junior in high school. He just said, "Howdy." He got. He's gonna go run. He's getting ready for track. But yeah, my gate is looking pretty good there. But 
if you see right up there on top of that gate, there's a piece of ang iron I welded up there. My That's where my 2x4 is going to go across. So my pickets are going to go on. I'm going to put some 2x4s on there across the gate and then put my pickets against, screw them into the 2x4s. But, yeah. That's a, that's a booger trying to get that thing to line up by yourself. That gate probably weighs a hundred and some pounds. All that wire, all that steel. Probably close to a hundred pounds, but it's kind of, it's fun trying to get lined up there, let me tell you. So, uh, here in a little bit, you guys are going to go back to, see I got it coming all the way back. I put it out there so I'm, I'd make it so I can bring it back and latch it. If I want to keep it open all day or whatever, it's going to be real nice when I get done. I can't wait to get it done, really. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go. You guys are going to hear me talking in the video here in the next little clip that's coming up here pretty quick. In about 30 seconds. That guy that was walking by right there, you seen a glimpse of him. He dropped about five or six F bombs right now. I'm talking to him. And, I don't even know what the hell he was talking about. Talking about something where he lived in New York or something. It was really weird. I don't know what he was saying really. I'm just glad that he walked on down the road. <laughs> oh yeah. So anyway, I'll uh, get back with you here in a little bit on the next clip where I got you shut I'm down. I'm not real happy about how these gates are turning out. I think I screwed up a little bit on this one. Well, they're actually pretty level, but I should have had that one out just a little bit further so they raise the gate up. It's a bad deal, but I always have to put my wheels on them to hold, the, hold them up right. My wheels have got to be on there to hold them up. But we're not going to be even with the top of the fence or nothing, but they'll serve their purpose they're gonna uh, be uh, plug a hole is what I'm doing so we'll see what happens we're just plugging a hole I'm going to sharpen these a little bit more with my gr grinder. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. I got my, uh, I took those things in my grinder. I think I might take one to the grinder here in a little bit. You guys can, uh, you'll see me, uh, what I did with them. I, I take you down there. I get one of them in, I think, and the top one I, uh, I take you with me and we go grind on a little bit here in a little bit. I've already drilled my hole there on that one. It looks like I think I'm gonna show you all my uh, brace a bit. I'm gonna drill the top hole here in a little bit by hand. This is a short little clip here. I'm gonna have to stop you here. It's just a minute and seven seconds. So. I don't know why I keep telling you what it is. I could just say what I'm doing. I'm twisting that thing in there. I'm getting tired of it. It's getting hard. It's really hard and difficult. I think I get ready to go get my, my uh, pipe wrench here in a second. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to go get my pipe wrench. That's what I'm getting ready to do. Okay, guys. I went and grabbed that piece of steel there so I could use it for a cheater bar. It's a piece of square tubing. I decided to move y'all just a little closer into the action. A little bit closer to the action there. I don't know what I'm doing really. Mm. I'm going to use that square tubing to turn that. That got really tough going into that, uh, that board. I think I might have grabbed a screwdriver too. I'm not sure if I grabbed a screwdriver yet or not. I grabbed one later to take that. Sometime here pretty soon I'll take that board off that. That's right there in front of me at an angle. 
It's got two screws holding it. I'll take it off so I can put the gate up. But, uh, yeah, it's getting really tough to turn. It's being a pain. It's a pretty good pain right there, turning that. I about got her, though. I don't know if I go get the pipe wrench for that bottom one or just the top one. Seems like I might go get it. I'm getting tired. It's getting hard. <laughs> Trying to keep my knee dry. Out of the mud. But yeah, the building back there behind, through the gate, uh, back in the distance, that's a, used to be our meat locker, but somebody, oh, I'm going to go tell you on the next clip. Alrighty guys, let's see what I'm doing here. I uh, don't know where I'm at. Oh, I went and got my monkey wrench. Back in the day we called that a monkey wrench. It's a pipe wrench. I'm going to take a little swig of milk here for a second. Mm. I'm out of milk. I'm going to have to go get me some milk. Am I recording? Because I cannot see my recorder. Yes, I am recording. Alrighty. <laughs> that worked a way better. The pipe wrench on there. Monkey wrench. That's my monkey wrench. I don't know why they call it a monkey wrench. I guess because the way it grabs like a monkey's paw grabbing a tree. But yeah. There it's coming through the fence. You can see the end of the... It goes all the way through that, that uh, post. My... Uh, hinge. Now I can't get it off there. I'd tap with a hammer so I get it off there. But yeah, this top one I start to drill through I think and it gets really tough. It turns into a nightmare. I'm talking to you guys now. I'm saying something. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh oh, there you go. Adjust that camera better there, buddy. Better get it right. Anyway, that building back there used to be a meat locker where people bring their deer and everything. And the guy went out of business because the last time he was doing deer was a couple of years ago. And he had like 350 deer in there in his cooler. And his cooler broke down that weekend through the weekend or something. And he was gone for a couple of days. He came back and all that deer was spoiled. <laughs> and he had a lot of people mad at him. He ruined all their deers. It was, or, it was a big stinky mess. It had 300 some deer that were uh, spoiled. He had to have them all. Just, it just throwed it to me. I don't know what they did with all that meat. That was a bad deal though. But it made him go out of business. So now we got a... Uh, I think they do flat work construction. And uh, do some other... kind. They do a few different things I think. But mainly flat work. Concrete work. But, but uh, yeah... They're pretty good neighbors. I don't hear nothing out of them. Except for a skid loader running around once in a while. I haven't really talked to them much. I tried to mow their yard, but they hired somebody else. Uh, a bigger outfit that probably charged them twice as much as I would have. I think they just hired that outfit to come in here. And they, they did a crazy thing. They did like... Uh, Came in, oh, detached the yard and everything. Here I am using that bracing bit. That's the way the old timers did a fence bow. That's a good way to do it, actually. It, it The battery never runs dead unless, you know, you might run out of juice, but it don't go dead unless you kill over. <laughs> but anyway, I hit something about halfway through that post. It didn't, I couldn't get it to go through it. Finally, I finally uh, got it to go, though, after a while. You'll see me cleaning off the end of the paddle. It's a paddle bit, though. I'm not using a regular drill bit. I got a paddle bit. If it had an auger bit, it would go right through there. But I didn't have an auger bit that size, so I'm doing them with a paddle bit. And it's a little harder. That's a big old yellow lab. That dog is really strong. I petted him one day. And he's got a lot of power. 
I asked that lady, I said, who's walking who? She goes, you got that right. That's about right or something, she said. That dog jerks her around a little bit sometimes when he wants to go a different direction. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm a cranking on that little thing, ain't I? Trying to get her through that hole. Ah, oh, it's getting me to wear out. Now I'm cleaning off the end of it because I'm, I'm getting more out here. You know, that's a lot of twisting. This is in, uh, sped up twice as fast as, as it was when I was doing it. I got on on number two, the, uh, speed. <laughs> anyway, we're getting closer. If the weather holds out, we might get the pickets on there tomorrow. I'm on, uh, I, I might go do some grading too. I gotta, I gotta go do that grading job and put a little rock down in this driveway. About 10, 15. About 10, 15 ton, 10 or 12 ton of, uh, we're going to get some screenings, I think, and I'm going to mix my own crusher run with screenings and a little bit of this rock that I got in my yard already. I might go get some screenings and mix with it. I think that would be the best thing to do. I'll make my own. But anyway, let's, uh, see what I'm going to do here now. I should have leveled it. I really don't care no more. I'm sick of it. That'd be pretty close. Accident. Three and a quarter of my gate. Is 40 I'm spraying in there then I sprayed a little on there I thought for a second there that I might have done the wrong thing I thought it might uh, end up uh, I was pushing on that awful hard I was moving that post it wasn't moving in the ground it was just me bending it I probably 
You had to probably snap off. No. But, uh, It'll probably set up a little better. The longer it says there, the sturdier to get. Hopefully. But no, that oil helped a lot. Plus that grinding. I grounded it a little bit so it kind of taper in there a little bit easier. It went in a lot better. Yeah. I mean, I better get my voice thing brought up here so I can tell how long I'm talking. So I can match you up. Yeah. I got that one in there real good, and I think I put the level up on it, and they were, those things were almost dead on. The hinge, top hinge, bottom hinge, they were level pretty good. It's actually turning out pretty decent, I think. I think it's going to work. It might be a little off with the pickets on this one end where I'm standing, because it's just the way it is. I'm going up a hill, and my gate's more leveler. It's just the way it is. Is what it is, right? But you can see it's a little bit chilly. I'm my my uh, breath is smoking. Yeah, I checked it there. It was pretty decent. But yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm telling you guys something. All right, I'm, I'm ready to take this that board, board off. Here. I, think. I gotta go get me a screwdriver. Let me see here. I'm taking this board off and. Uh, trying to record all this stuff at the same time because <laughs> right now I'm recording I'm watching myself work this is uh, reliving this whole thing nightmare all right I'm gonna try to hang this gate this one here was a it was a burger to get on there it was this in here is a little heavier than the other one because this is like a inch and a quarter or inch and inch and a half inch and a quarter I can't remember what it is yeah I think it's inch and a half uh, square tubing and the other one's inch square tubing and this one that, that one's got an extra bar on it though so but this one here is still heavier it's a little thicker square it's a little thicker walled too but i had a hell of a time getting that lined up and the it's got a different kind of pins it's just got pipes that's going into my brother welded on there when he was in high school about I don't know when he did it. What is it? Probably close to 30, 45, 40 years ago or something. He's got to be getting close to 40th anniversary. I don't know what it is. Maybe more. But yeah, I'm just having trouble hanging that gate. Come on, you can do it. Oh, I think I got it. Did I get it? Not yet. Come on, Betty. You can do it. Not yet. It it's a struggle. Oh, I'm looking at it. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it or not. I'm scratching my head, thinking, hmm, what the hell am I doing here? I'm gonna try it again. I must not have got it yet. Here, oh, I got my phone's ringing on me. Here, let me see what it says. Speaking of the devil, my brother put something on Facebook. That's alright, we'll look at it later. But yeah, I'm showing you. I'm talking about my 2x4 is going on top. The shorter one is going to run across the top. And the other one's going to run right on, along the metal. The, uh, oh, what do you call it? My rail. And right there I'm talking about putting a, uh, another piece of metal on top of that with some lag bolts i'm gonna put lag bolt with a piece of metal l shape there so that they can't lift the gate up i'm gonna put a little uh security thing there a couple of lag bolts holding a piece of angle iron over the uh, hinge so you can't lift the gate off the off of the uh post without uh taking that apart but yeah well, the temperature's dropping like a mother, and my stove's about to burn out, because I ain't going to have a stove running all night tonight. I got my gate uh, frames pretty good, I guess. I'm going to leave them like they are. They'll look all right, I guess. Those looks uh, I don't know what I'm going to do there. The, this side of the gate's going to be pretty even. 
This will be around here. Man, that sun feels good on me, but it's starting to get cold out here. This side of the gate's going to be pretty even when I put my 2x4s on. Because my 2x4 is going right here. It's going to be even with that one. But the only problem I got is when I go down along here, I get this other gate. My 2x4 is going to screw onto this. It's going to be the same. But when I get down here, it's going to be lower. What I should have done probably is raise this gate and head it at an angle, but that would look dumb. What I might be able to do is just leave it. Just have it drop down here. I ain't going to get I, I really don't care. It is what it is. We'll see what the two by fours look like when we put them on. I mean, the one buys. Oh, I got one right here. Let's, let's hold it up there and see what it's going to look like. I got a picket right here. Picket. What's pissing me off? Oh, they're frozen. What's pissing me off is uh, the gaff that this thing is getting in it. But I guess that's okay. If it didn't have that gap. It'd be a lot worse when the wind blows. That's what they say anyway. Oh, wait a minute. I guess it won't look too bad. What I probably need to do is put my picket on top of that post. I mean, my two by four. I guess it's gonna look okay. It looked better than I thought it was gonna do. And this one here is going to go on here. I think it's just a, a, an illusion. It's going to look better than it does right now because it's, just, it's an illusion. <laughs> These things are frozen. Okay. If it dries up a little bit, I got a grading job to do. I got a tree job to do. I need to go up and talk to that guy. Tell him I just ain't got around to getting up there. Oh, I'm going to grab this wood out of the back of this pickup. I got some rock to do on a pit on a driveway. I uh, guess I'll take this in there and I'll cut it up tomorrow. Put it on there. Well... It's not going to look as bad as I thought. It's, a, it's just an illusion. So, yeah. I'll uh, put it up there and I may have to put another board on it, on that end, on that far end down there. I may have to put a little bit of a board, like a one by or something on the inside and screw them to it just to keep them from warping to help them all hold together because it's going to be sticking up pretty high off that fence that gate so I may have to put me a, a one by across the top of them okay that's going to do it for this video I don't even know what I got on here we'll go in the house see what it is but it is what it is I had some guy walk by a while ago doing a bunch of F-bombs so that'll probably be on my video but I have no idea who that bum was so anyway, all right, we'll talk to y'all later. Like and subscribe. I swear I do work for other people, but I just haven't got to doing it yet. And uh, anybody has any questions they want to ask me about uh, the lawn care business, mowing and trimming bush, mowing yards, trimming bushes and stuff. One of these days, I'll uh, I'm gonna trim all these trees. Well, when I get my fence going down that direction and I get close to that tree there, they got to get trimmed up. All these trees, a lot of these trees are going to be cut down. I'm cutting about almost all them trees down when I get rid of them. I'm only going to have like two left when I'm done. And that tree right behind that junk trailer has got to go. Okay. Anyway. If you like and subscribe to my videos, 
to my channel, you'll get to see some of that action. And then pretty soon we're going to be mowing some grass. But right now it's only about 30 degrees. My fingers are getting cold. I'm going to go in the house. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Should I shave all this off? Should I cut my hair a little bit shorter? I'm thinking about keeping the back though for a while. I might cut the front a little bit so my hat fits better. And uh, the hair ain't too bad. I'm going to shave his beard off pretty soon though. But right now it's, it is keeping me warm. I mean my face ain't cold at all. So yeah. Well, I'm a little bit closer on my gates. I'm feeling a little better right now. So we'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to end it right here.